Hello everyone. Welcome to the video series on data science and machine learning with Python programming language and in this particular video we will talk about pandas series. Uh, this is an extension to the video I created earlier on pandas data frame. I will highly recommend you to go ahead and look into that video before proceeding on this particular one. So let's go ahead and start with a small recap. So why we need pandas? As you know that data science and machine learning feeds on data. We need data for it to work. But the problem is that we cannot just take the data and dump into our machine learning model. We need to prune the data and get rid of unnecessary data and do some interrogation to get some valuable information too. Pandas is used for all these purposes. So Pandas is an open source BST licensed library. It provides high performance, easy to use data structures and data analytic tool for Python programming language. There are only two data structures provided by Pandas. They are Pandas data frame and Pandas series. In my last video, we already talked about Pandas data frame. In this video, we will talk about Pandas series. To understand about Pandas series, we will have to first look into Pandas data frame. Again, a recap on what is a Pandas data frame. It's a 2D labeled data structure with columns of potentially different types. In other words, a Pandas data frame is just like an Excel sheet which contains a 2D data structure where uh, we can have different different columns and different different rows. Now what is a panda series? Technically panda series is a one dimensional labeled array capable of holding any data type. In normal terms panda series is nothing but a column in an excel sheet. So if this excel sheet is representing my pandas data frame, a single column of my pandas data frame is my panda series. Okay, For example name is a panda series, age is a panda series, designation is a panda series. And my pandas data frame is a combination of different panda series. Okay. Now let's generate the pandas data frame with the dictionary data which we have used in last video. So we will generate data frame from the dictionary and this is how our data frame will look like. Now as you know that name is a panda series, age is a panda series, gender is a panda series and designation is a panda series. And we can actually see individual columns in a data frame by uh, saying data frame name or data frame dot name you know that this notation can be used only and only if there is no space in between column names now if i go ahead and want to see the type of data frame name you can see that the type comes to series also type of data frame age comes to type as series so every column in pandas data frame is a pandas series now what series is used for in terms of functionalities, Panda series is very similar to the NumPy arrays. For example, uh, you can get to know the shape of a series, you can get to know the dimension of the series, you can get to know the type of the series. They are very similar to the way NumPy array works. That's why if you remember from my earlier video that we created a NumPy array and used that NumPy array to create additional column in Panda's data frame. So it's easy to create a pandas series from a numpy array. Now we know that pandas data frame consists of individual pandas series. But pandas series is not dependent on pandas data frame for its existence. Pandas series can exist in a standalone mode. So which means that we can create a pandas series from a python list or from a numpy array. As you know that numpy array is better uh, choice over here because pandas series just like numpy arrays can have only one data type. So in here I am creating pandas series from both python list as well as from numpy array and you can see how they both look like. In here they both look like same. Now as with pandas data frame you can see that uh, both pandas series has its own row index number automatically generated which is a number starting from zero which means that we can replace these numbers if we provide those items in pandas series. In here I am providing a numpy array which is 0 to 12 in a step of 2 and here is how the row index number will be generated for my pandas series. I can also provide a text based uh, python list over here and you can see those will be provided as part of my pandas series. Apart from printing the data, we can even print the index separately over here and here is how we can just print the index of a panda series. 
It's also possible to create pandas series from a python dictionary as we did create pandas data frame but there is some difference over here. For example in here I am creating a dictionary with key value pair. If you want to create a pandas series from a python dictionary the key becomes the row index number and value becomes the row value. So in here you can see that abc has become the row index numbers and values becomes the value. When you created a data frame out of a python dictionary you remember that key becomes the column that is not the case with pandas series. So far so good but what will happen if I have multiple values in the uh, key. So it will not change the way things are generated over here it will still remain a single series. The only thing is that it will contain more than one values. Now let's talk about getting the series by iterating through a data frame. We can iterate through a data frame just like as I said that pandas data frame consists of multiple pandas series. So we can iterate through data frame and get one series one by one and here is how if I just go ahead and print the individual series I can see there are four series over here in the existing pandas data frame. Okay. We can also create pandas data frame by combining the series. For example let me create a series of name and age and I can create data frame from series as this. Now the difference here will be that these series they are actually vertically stacked on top of each other. It's different than what you might have expected that it is not a horizontal thing next to each other. Okay this is difference and this is the difference we should take care of while combining uh, panda series to create a data frame. Okay. However this is not applicable when we create pandas data frame from a single series. So that in here you can see that uh, it is what you have expected. It's only that when you give more than one series, it stacks vertically. Okay. We can also create panda series from a scalar. Panda series have various helper functions, some of them which we have used in our earlier video. Let's see like uh, mean function which gives the mean value, uh, size, number of elements, takes the unique value of a particular column or particular series. I can even get a python list out of it okay and just like iterating through pandas data frame we can also iterate through panda series and it gives me individual items on that particular series okay we can also iterate through row index number for a panda series and this will give us the row index number so that's all about panda series and how you are gonna use it I have told you almost everything uh, which is uh, primarily required for you to get hold of panda and how to use panda data frame and series. Of course there are some functions which you will explore as you go through it but I think it will cover 80-90% of the stuffs which you are planning to do right now. So that's all about this particular video guys. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Please take a moment to like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you. Thanks a lot.